Hey YouTube, got another knife review for you today. This is the Columbia River Knife and Tool Dragon Fixed Blade Knife. Uh, they're selling it as a, a, a tactical knife, a, a defensive knife, or as I would say, you know, counter-attack knife. And the price tag on this, it's between 25 and 30. Alright, so it's a budget, it's a budget tactical fixed blade, uh, medium sized. The total blade length, including the uh, Ricasso there, by my measurement, it's 4.7 inches. Right, so it's a mid-sized, mid-sized fighter. You can see very sharp jimping right there. It is a, it is a uh, Warncliffe style tip design. Alright, let's check out the handles first. G10 handle scales. Uh, with diagonal lines, grooves for grip, lanyard hole there, there's full tang, you see that there, and this is meant, uh, in their advertising they say this is meant, uh, you can bash your opponent, bludgeon your opponent with that protrusion, and you can see it has a sub hilt here, right, a very deep finger groove there, Right, obviously, to give you a secure grip, the jimping there for that grip. Right, now the blade itself, it is 9CR13. Uh, that is an inexpensive uh, Chinese stainless steel. Right, and it is, you can see, it's a partial hollow grind and a very penetrative Warncliffe style tip. And overall, you know, very effective, very nasty design. As you can see, they, they specifically designed it to be able to thrust, but also to tip slash and really bite, really bite into the surface of a target. So altogether, very nasty and, uh, you know, pretty effective for what they, what they mean for the mission of the knife. Uh, this knife is also available in a gray bead blasted model. I chose the black coating because uh, I think gray just doesn't look very nice. And, uh, you know, with a knife like this, hey, you know, you got to get the, uh, the nasty looking version. Now, Crawford and Casper, uh, they are, well, this is designed by Crawford and Casper, I should say. They are uh, well known knife designers. All right. And if you want to see, uh, you know, what's this folder? Well, this is the the Columbia River Knife and Tool Crawford Casper folder. So you see uh, Crawford and Casper, they have an enjoyment of designing tactical knives. It's a pretty nice knife. This is like a $20 knife. And, you know, for that price, it's, it's a nice big, has a secondary lock. You know, altogether, these budget tacticals by them, you know, they're, they're putting out some pretty cool stuff. All right, now the sheath on this. Well, here is the sheath. You can see, you know, it's a minimalistic, thin, thin and thin but strong. All right, and comes with this. Now you see these screws here. They can line up with the eyelets, right? And what this allows you to do is mount it either horizontally or vertically on your belt. Okay, so it's customizable and lightweight. Obviously, good features. It locks in, you heard that, it locks in very securely, it is very secure, and, uh, you know, deployment, you have to give it a firm, a firm tug, but, um, yeah, that's the sheath altogether, a pretty nice sheath for the, for the price of the knife. Alright, and if you want to see this in size comparison with a well-known blade of similar length, this is the Gerber Big Rock, uh, one of the most popular camping knives uh, in the U.S., I'd say. You know, and I believe they go for around 25 But it happens to be almost a, a very uh, close match in blade length, right, and overall size. You see that there. See the blades there. And it's interesting that, you know, this is sold as a tactical knife. This is sold as a camping knife, 
But let me tell you, this knife would be no slouch, um, you know, if used as a, uh, a medium-sized fighter because of the penetrating tip and, well, I think you can see it's pretty, pretty capable in its own right. But this is uh, slimmer and lighter, obviously. Uh, there's your size comparison. Pretty nice length. Not too long, but not too short. And I, you know, I'm sure that that was their intention. All right. So, what about the use of this blade for what they sell it as? You know, what about the use of it? Uh, its weapon potential. Well, you know, in this category of sizes, of size, there's so many different ways you can go. I mean, there's you know, there's karambits, there's daggers. There's just your your um your pilot survival knife, you know, your mil your smaller military bowies are around five inches. So there's a million ways you could go. Uh, but let's say you did choose this uh, this route. Would it work? I think it would. I mean, this is a vicious knife. That you can see the tip slashing and and thrusting ability. You know, I think with this type of design. Anyone, you know, anyone that's fairly athletic and fairly aggressive, you know, even if you don't have, like, all sorts of deadly training, uh, a highly motivated person, like, say, a young, strong soldier wielding this, I feel they could do, like, a heck of a lot of damage with the design of this type. So, yeah, does it succeed as a, as a budget a budget tactical fixed blade? I think so. It's fairly light, fairly slim, fairly deadly. So, um, you know, if you do if you do need something like that and you you're in this price range, the uh, 25 to 30 price range, yeah. I think it would serve. I hope you've enjoyed this knife review. Stay tuned for many more. I am out of here. Peace out.